Good evening, everybody. Welcome to a very special episode of Insert Title Here. Tonight, I'm playing a game that is very near and dear to my heart. It's bartending, it's cyberpunk, and it's action, and it's called Valhalla. Valhalla. This game was something that was recommended to me by a friend a while ago. And at the time, I really didn't give it much attention. It was visual novel-esque, which is very visual novel-y. And I was never, didn't really think that I was into that sort of stuff, at least at the time. But eventually, some bumpy roads occurred during my college years, coincidentally, after I became the age of drinking majority, where I realized, you know, kind of getting into this whole world of cocktails, world of drinks, world of libations and imbibing on the regular in a healthy manner. And I was like, you know, I should really try this game that my friend a while ago mentioned to me. And it's just a joy. I've played through it once already. And it's it's awesome. It kind of re-sparked my career, uh, not career, not career, uh, hobby into mixing drinks. So I prepared myself a drink. And I'm ready to go. Start a new game here. Best played, getting comfortable, grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. I do not have... Actually, you know what? I got my drinks. My snack is some chocolate. Um, very interesting combo. This drink is very orange forward, and that's not usually a very good combination with chocolate, except in one particular case. But, uh, put that aside. Let's get started. I, I love this game. This is just one of those games where you can just sit down and just enjoy yourself in the ambiance, which I... I, I adore about this game. There's not there's not many that I feel that way about. And I'm going to attempt to narrate as best as I can. If it gets old, I'll stop. But uh, I'm going to try my best this year, because I want to. I miss the days of narration. Script reading, performing, acting. Prior to the days of imbibing and libations. Anyway. <clears throat> Psst. Hey, over here. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe, look sharp. The game's starting, and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused, and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh? Oh. Just a dream. Hmm, something near the door. Chapter 1. Primera. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's Spanish. I might be incorrect. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. You can now browse the Augmented Eye, which is kind of the newspaper in the cyberpunk universe. I need to make sure that this is the new game plus, because I'm pretty sure I should be starting like that. Let's see. Um, try saving that. Just in case it's not the new game plus, I will save over this one. Okay, it is not the new game plus. So instead, I'm going to start there because that's where I would have left off. Good thing I kept that saved. The whole thing again. Boo! Didn't I show up on the TV? Oh, gags get old if you beat them too much, you know? Ah, there's a change there. Skip too far. But no matter, thank you for playing again. Don't worry, you won't be punished for choices made in past playthroughs. This is a fresh new beginning. Um, almost fresh, at least. Jo will have all the money she had at the end of last time, which honestly wasn't much, by the way. Is it all the belongings, too? She'll keep everything she bought or unlocked, too. Oh, you know what? I mean, she could potentially be a millionaire, but remain the same poor bartender. Hmm. I don't like that. I'm going back to the original. I just kidding. I go back to actual new game. 
I'll do New Game Plus another time. I want to start from the beginning. Fresh, fresh start. Oh, let's see what the Method Eye has in store for us today. Mass immigration continues as Quincy repeals new economic adjustments by Kimberly Lavalette. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries, and rampant violent crime, Glitch City's citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during a talk with the Augmented Eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, concluded Quincy. Wonderlanders are the newest threat to your security by Kimberly Lavalette. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most com complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. Quincy is the Prime Minister. Oh, popcorn? For me? You shouldn't have. Popcorn. Sweet. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and we'll release the whole database this January, the group, decla group declared during a stream. A stream. Pogcorn. What's up, Thank? I guess? Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Which I'm sure he says sarcastically. Wild parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream, from the anthro to the bunny girl. The purposes was to show the love and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and their role in today's politics. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. And one last. Cyborg in Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome by Lana Smithy. The popular show, Cyborg and Heels, returns to the Dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Nice. Director Quentin Hayter explains Cyborg and Heels' special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels. Cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview of the next few weeks, exclusive, exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. Okay. I have no money. So I'm going to work. For, my cat says, his acting is unnatural. Oh, I forgot to read the side during the, uh... The cat has opinions. The cat, who speaks on their own, will have opinions on the pieces as well. As well as Jill, our main character. Anyway, time to go to work. Like, I should be doing. I consider this a job. A hobby job. Even? Ah, uh, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Gil? When you let people call you Jules. Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Dunno, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes, that you looked distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. Just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah, there's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago, I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. There's still all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. 
let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Tutorial time. If you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Sigh. Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Gil. When done, press the mix button and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve it and that'll be all. Oh, but first, if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button to try again. You can press the reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. Audible sigh. And he said he'll skip the rest if I make a piano man. So let's go with the piano man. Two, aldehyde. Three, bronson extract. Five, powder delta. Five, flanner guide. And three, Carmatrine. Aged on the rocks. Mixed. Oh, did I do that wrong? On the rocks and mi Oh, not aged. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Again, 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 again. The Carmatrine is actually only quote unquote alcoholic part that you add to drinks in this game. Piano Man, there you go. Here. Happy? Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now, let's get working. Oh, yeah. Before I forget. Hmm. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. Thanks, Gil. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Clearly. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional Carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional Carmatrine doesn't count towards making a big drink. Of course. Carmatrine is the only, is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. You done with the expedition? Now I am, yeah. Hey, guys! It's boss. Oh, b- Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found out while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You can't just push that responsibility on us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. Audible sigh. Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun. Just that? Fine. I see no problem. <laughs> Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what was the logic behind that decision? Honestly, I usually just 
to fill this up with one song to keep the vibe going. And I honestly don't remember what it was. But let's see. Um, was it this one? No, but I'll put it on anyway. I like this one. Pretty good, pretty good. That's cool. Where's the one? Where's the one? This one. Everything will be okay. No, this isn't the right one. But it's a nice one. Yeah, I the, the music for this game is just absolutely wonderful. It's done by an artist by the name of Garode or Garode, and I've listened to this multiple multiple times, both before and after playing the game. One of the reasons I came back to this game was because I found the game's music on Spotify, and I was like, you know what? That really makes me want to play the game even more. Oh, this is the song. It's Where Do I Go From Here. I like that one. I'm going to remember that. Other than that, other music. I'll keep it on shuffle, because I need some variety. When I'm on my own, I'll just lay chill, but I need, I need change. The world wants change. But that's my favorite. But yeah, the other games that I did for that, basically for the same thing, was I want to play Hyper Light Drifter. I love Disaster Piece. Just absolutely wonderful artist. Um, who also did the music to a game named Fez, which I played before the music came out. What was the other one? Um, honestly, Shovel Knight's music is kick-ass, so I, I didn't actually play that one. I actually, I played a little bit of it. Yeah. Anywho, time to mix drinks and change lives. Yeah. Change the channel first. Uh... I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's got the corgi and the, what I assume to be a cat, or perhaps it's a demon spawn from another dimension, or just a heartless. Maybe heartless exist in this universe. Hey you, grab me a beer. Oh sure, right on it. If he wants a beer. Beer's an easy one, but I still forget how to make it. I've never been good at memorizing. Well, that's a lie, but. I haven't put in the effort to memorize this game. You, sir... Let's see. You, sir, sound like you could use a big beer. You come in here rushing into my bar like that. You seem a little stressed out. You seem like the business type. So, uh, let's get you a good one. A big ol' beer. Bubbly, classic, and vintage. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Unfortunate. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Uh, nice job. Uh, thanks, I guess. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. So let me get this straight. There was an old Jersey. There is a New Jersey. New Jersey Junior came about. And apparently, you created another shithole. Hellhole. Shithole. New Jersey 3. New Jersey the third, if you will. I'm from New Jersey, so... I wouldn't say it's... It's, it's only shitty when you look at it from the outside. and the inside, it can be okay, depending on where you are. I would not recommend Camden, or Trenton, or any major city of New Jersey. Anywho, huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? <laughs> Why would somebody want to recreate Jersey? Let alone twice? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson. You know, that name gives me the exact same, like, vibe as Doug Dimodome. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimodome. Except it's Donovan D. Dawson, owner of the augmented eye. Dim, dim witted newspaper. Chief editor and owner of the augmented eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then? 
Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Ain't no lying there. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. And, and I assume they're not your kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about a hacker, just that you write about them every single day. The media is so repetitive. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the last lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dissented. People get bored of a certain type of kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started at this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you'd need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Death's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about, and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh. I guess she's got a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic, too? Oh, I hate those brats. They're just right about how they're better than everybody else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. Uh, what about... No, wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critic column, um... Ah, uh, shit! Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant, I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't let it care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. Food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Do you look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one, then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time. Please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Indeed, they do. Why get a beer at a bar when you could very, very easily... I can make this a big one again. Very easily just go to the store and buy it. Unless you manage to get into the bar without sharing your ID, manage to get yourself a drink, which is something that you might not be able to do at the local store. I don't approve, but I've seen it happen. Maybe even experienced it myself. Who knows? I wouldn't know. 
I'm a law-abiding citizen of the age of 23. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. That's that's definitely the opposite. That's definitely the opposite. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. <laughs> so, tell me, did you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here. Thank you very much, says Gil from the other room. And who is that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you'd like. Charming. So, celebrities? Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. <laughs> You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see is their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Uh, even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching about uh, over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of, all that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play at that game of... Hmm... Hey, you know, you're, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rep, hell-bent on world conquest. I'm Pinky from Pinky in the Brain. Sar sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? 
Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half of our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway... Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, um, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods, no. <laughs> but, but I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. Um, what was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Ah, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. All right. Third time's the charm. For what? Anyway, better get in that beer. Whoops. I missed eight. I honestly feel bad for this guy at this point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let him have it. Just a little, just a small beer. Small beer. There's a certain responsibility that you obviously have to hold yourself to when you are being a bartender. If they seem to be getting intoxicated, you have to cut them off. Or call them a cab, call them an Uber, make sure they get home safely. I'm not sure if that's a com uh, that's a concept here in Night City, but we have to try as best as we can. And I need to try as best as I can to stay hydrated. As somebody else once said, hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> Am I right? Anyway, here's your beer. One beer. Which one? For you. Take it. Yeah, I guess one's good enough for now. <laughs> good to hear. Say, hey, uh, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards that think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's 
I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no. No, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for somebody else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they find a offensive and there's always that one guy or gal that says hey why don't you do what that other newspaper does recently they told me that they needed more clicks more clicks more clicks i make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up but it's never enough for them you know what they want more clicks i'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is, he says as he walks away and fades from the bar. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yeah. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling! The, the sinks! The toilets! The vents! Shh. You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. Sleeping Beauty reference. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Big gut hunt punch. Fast. Alright. Who wants a gut punch? I want to give him a gut punch, alright. That I do. That I do. Gut punch. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Ops little karma tree. I'm gonna take the opposite route on this guy. No alcohol at all, but it is aged and it is mixed and it's a gut punch and a cool looking like a uh, glass similar like that. It's almost like he took like one of those root beer glasses and made it shorter, the one with the little spires up the side. Not like any glass that I actually own, but uh, here's your punch to the gut here. By the way, you're not allowed to drink behind the bar. Let that be known. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar? Hellhole, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. The hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Silence. Because I'm emo. Silence is golden. Duct tape is silver. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend but it's Tuesday please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless if I pay you will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours no then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks such pleasant clientele tonight May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. 
she says she's a regular here and all i'm starting to doubt her tastes regular can i ask who no i'll concede one thing whoever picks the music at least has decent taste hey jill where'd you put the dish soap gills run out below the sink where it's always been right oh a customer good evening sir hope you enjoy your stay at valhalla so, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane. The Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, kicking, knocking them out, cold, one by one. That's an achievement, and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? No, not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company, and she got really drunk, and she started screaming she was an alpaca. <laughs> She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please, there's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. He wants a pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him, though, which is another drink. Of course. Clearly there are some drinks in this game that are just manly. Tempting to uh, to really get straight to the heart of the manly man. Like the suplex with the gut puncher. Or a nice cold beer. So on and so forth. All mixed. It doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. Bitter, manly, burning. Here's your pile driver. Here. Hmm. It's fine. I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I I'm sorry. I, I think I heard that wrong. I asked. If you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment... The lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know, they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? 
Not really. I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit too quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright, alright, let's let's give him a fringe weaver. The fringe weaver. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Which allows the medicine or the alcohol or the carbatrine to go down. It is a bubbly, classy, strong drink that must be aged and mixed. The fringe weaver, which looks like it's got it's either got four honestly, they look like cashews on the side of the glass over here. I realize I'm trying to point at the screen, but see that but I have a mouse this time which is cool so yeah it looks like there's little cashews off the edge little crescent moons it's apparently just alcohol so I'm I, I don't know I'm guessing something orangey they're orange little orange and just a lot of vodka or Everclear try not to drink it too fast that's up to me hey lady have you ever felt empty empty how like hungry no I mean empty like there's a part of you missing can't say I particularly have I just feel there's this part of myself that lacks something an urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy have you tried taking up a hobby it might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising, mixology, drawing, animating, woodwork, music, chocolateering, Video gaming sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. I was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day, three years in a row now. Foreshadowing. Nothing seems to do it. Um... Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least, you shouldn't. You shouldn't fuck puppies. Don't fuck puppies. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Hi, Ingram. Good. Whew. Boss, I'm going to take my break. All right. And so we get the main character shot with Gil on the left and Dana on the right and Dorothy poking her head up from the bottom. 2069 Sukeban Games saving our progress. I have backups of all of these elsewhere, so I'm going to just save right here. I love this game very much. I have local backups for these in case I ever want to go back to those good times. And on that note, I will take a quick break to refill my water bottle. Take a small break, as I've already said. Yeah. Parrot time. Party time.
and we're back with a very special message from the fiance. Thank, I guess. Your sister says hi. Wink. I said I love him. Okay. She said she loves you. Okay, anyway. There was, no kiss there. there was no kiss. I included the kiss as a thing. Disgusting. Anyway, we're heading back. Do, 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 do. By the way, for those following home, along, along, at home, I made myself a cocktail tonight for the bartending game, and it's called the Ninja Turtle. Because it's green. And that's honestly about it. Anyway, it tastes like orange, and I guarantee I don't, turtles don't taste like oranges. They don't. They taste like, actually, I don't know what turtle tastes like per se, but I have had turtle soup before, but I don't think I really got to the bits where I was like, salty chicken? Everything tastes like chicken, though. <clears throat> anyway. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Jukebox, again. This time. Ugh. I don't know. Let's let's just. Oh, can I? Oh, if I right click on them, I could just change everything around. All right, let's do. Let's do something else. Something completely different, like Umemoto or Oh, uh, Arine Neo Avatar. Those who dwell in the shadows. Nighttime maneuvers. A star appears at the dark. Synthesis stitch. Snowfall. The answer lies within. Dawn approaches. The renewed hope. We and reminisce. And then we'll start at digital drive next time. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good e uh, would, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry, it's so comfortable I actually forgot I have it on. this better yeah thank you what can I get you miss master spell <laughs> words do over master specialist say P Asagiri of As oh my god I'm trying that again master specialist say P Asagiri of the 765th division Valkyrie Corps at your service wait that's too long just call me say what can I get for you, say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, not sweet as in cool, and although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I having to have to get up early tomorrow and I can I can't afford a hangover. I'm sorry, did you did you get that? A sweet drink. Preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Spell sweet and icy. So we'll switch by type. Look for the flavor sweet drinks. Does the sugar rush include ice? It does not. Go back to the drinks. The sparkle star. Does it include ice? It does not. What about the blue fairy? Aged and mixed, but no ice. What about the moon blast? On the rocks. Blended Carmatrine, not a big drink. It'll work. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a rocks. And I told myself if I was blending any drinks in the game that I'd be shaking this along with it. It is not cold, it is not sealed, it's gonna get wet for me and only me. So, a shake, a shake, a shake. Why? Because I have cocktail equipment in my apartment. Shake a shake a shake a shake a there stop that's your moon blast woot bartending action action and my hands wet here you are don't click the settings oh yeah this is just what I needed thanks we don't get many white knights as clients I can only remember one other in fact you said you're from the Valkyrie Corps right are you the guys who deal with riots and stuff 
Riot? Oh! No, no, no. We're thinking the, uh, you're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with the huge plated suits, right? Yeah, yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe so those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch. We protect. Uh, what was that? Sorry, it's uh, sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. Team Rocket monologues. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I, I know many doctors, but I'm not... One, I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so that they can arrive safely at the doctor. I'm always kind of like, a, I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up uh, the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant with the lights and scattered pieces of glass. It was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those sights are, and they're, and they're, those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but, mm, never mind. Wait, did I miss here, and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. Like terrible sights, like people dying. Bad, bad things. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy drink. Simple enough. Classy, classy, classy. Classy drinks. Let's go with something like a Brantini. It is also sweet. It is classy. And it's happy. 8 out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it. But they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> Anywho, that and the Delta and the Carmotrine, aged and mixed. And that's your Brantini. Kind of looks like the Fringe Weaver. Same glass. Like a. Looks like a margarita glass. If it were like sharper. Without the little bulb at the bottom, I think it's a martini glass. I mean, it should be a martini glass. It's a brand teeny, which is the mar martini brand teeny, but commercialized, marketized. It's probably a you know, brand name. Or perhaps martini's been trademarked in this particular universe by some mega corporation. They're like, uh 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 uh, no martinis. Brand teenies. Anyway, it's aged and mixed. Um, enjoy it. Here you go. Yup. This looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I 
I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Mm -hmm. You know my name, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. Uh, Ju Julianne. Do not call me Julianne. Please. Please. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on much. Don't don't dwell too much on that. Okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. <laughs> that actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian. I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian? Vet or anything else. Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend uh, watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt this was my calling that I wanted to help people the same way they helped me huh it's interesting though one would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction yeah but it was another one that saved me so I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis well not not to an extremist extent but yeah you, you get me yeah I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals interesting there was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying they were doing a nice job but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding i believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity that'd be nice i think can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini. Brantini. No, 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 I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's Brantini. Trust me. I'll get you one. She wants a martini. Sorry. Brantini. What was I saying? What was I saying? Can't say that. Classified. Trademarked. Copywritten. Whatever. I I am like really like the little picture here it looks. It's got the little bulb at the bottom. It kind of looks like a margarita glass. But I suppose maybe the whole rebranding of 
mar brantini involved sticking the martini into the margarita glass make it a little smaller it's a very dainty looking margarita glass to be perfectly honest i have a couple other i have a lot of margarita glasses and i don't you don't drink a lot of margaritas tequila is not a favorite but i've learned to use it huh you're right thanks you know what i think i'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days really why i like the feel of this place and i want to share it with her might be a bit difficult though she's more into um classier places Ch -ch -ch. trying to adjust my chair and it is not working don't worry not that this place isn't nice but don't worry i know the kind of place i work in i see but it shouldn't be too bad i just need to rumble rumble who was that sounded like an explosion i better check that i paid you already right yeah, yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. Whew. She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back. I'll just hold it for her. I'll go check what the ever-loving hell that explosion was. There we go. Says Gil from across the room. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where, where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean that Uncle Ingus rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar or true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. Not. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? <sighs> Alright. Uh, where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? What? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, having your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 murder! Murder, murder! Interrupt me. Well, it's just going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down and her to throw at her face. Think carefully. Something to calm her down. Something to calm her down. Let's see what will calm somebody down. No. No. Three times. Look like a fool. No. Unnecessarily brown. Nah. Make your teeth turn blue. Brush them well. Assholes. Champagne. Knock the drunkenness right out of you or knock you out cold. Hmm. No. Make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. That sounds lovely. That sounds very relaxing. One, two, or three, four, five, six. This, this, this chick don't need alcohol. This, this chick don't need alcohol. She just kind of woke up from like, like, I don't know. Maybe she was already drinking. Yeah, how do I supposed to know? Aged, mixed, fluffy dream. You know, hurricane glass with what looks like a little lime on top and a lot more limes on the inside it sounds lovely what is that a drink you're in a bar bar serve drinks a bar so i figured i should give you something to help you calm down don't worry it's on the house to calm down what did you spice it up with roofies ttx pumpkins god no i wouldn't even think of it your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and my tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. 
And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Chilling. Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. I don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about... Oh my god! How? Why? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? Oh, uh, no. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. <gasps> Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store or even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? What? Eh? Uh, what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? N no, no, I, I... Well, I'll let you know, I am not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Not, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? Oh, you know, a little orangey, ginny, botanical, filled with orange. Gin. Oh, you. It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess you're telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably have reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can, can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, subjective clothes, dignity, and or organs. <sighs> How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have Piano Man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I, I just gulped the last one, so I, I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. She's asking for a Piano Man. You don't see women asking for a piano man every day. Usually, you'd order the piano woman. But no, it's piano man. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Oh, wrong one. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. Good to know. 
sing us a song tonight Well, we're all in the mood for a melody You've got us feeling alright Piano Man! With a very interesting looking glass. Honestly, the glass almost kind of looks like it should be a candle holder with a blue flame on the inside of it. And wow, that's that not a good way to adjust that. Here, bud. Excuse me while I adjust that again. I have a Bluetooth card coming in a couple of days, so I don't have to deal with this, this connection to the interwebs, the net, the sky deck, or an uh, Ono Sendai. Those are cyberpunk references. The genre, not necessarily the game. Anyway, Piano Man, here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempt to kill him. What did he do, your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist like that? Wrong place, at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz? Jazz does that to you. Makes you a little crazy, a little wide-eyed. Jazz, when you really get into that zone, you're like, yeah, play me another one. And then you punch a dude. Yeah, punching dudes. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Imagine seeing that happen on a casual night out. Oh, what do you mean, Owlblade? You've never gone out of the town to the local hellhole of a bar. You know, you've got your Piano Man up on stage. And all of a sudden, he just jumps off and docks your friend in the... Siri, drop, dock your friend or father in the face? You've never seen that? I've never seen it either, honestly. I could expect that. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Kim. Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horseblower. <laughs> <clears throat> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It, it's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him is... Ah. Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind why at one point I thought about being a bartender but I was afraid they'd make me wear skippy clothes and dance or something here we go again 
Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person, what with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is! She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even though when you're with her, but even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Heh! <laughs> Sorry, I, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you've got, you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Sh shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I... I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. She wants a Brantini. Sorry, a mar. <sighs> a Brantini. Yes, that one. Totally not the Martini, of course. Because in corporate Glitch City, I swear to God, if you use a copywritten, trademarked, or otherwise patented name, we will fucking kill you. We will. We're the businesses. We can do that. Do that as much as we want to. It's cyberpunk, where the corporations rule, and the only limits to what you can achieve is what you're willing to do to your body. Keanu Reeves is... Johnny Silverhand. Anyway, enough Cyberpunk 2077. Here! Yup. This seems like the stuff. Cheers! <sighs> hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really. Just... Kinda happened. One thing led to another, and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only, the only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams childish dreams having a room where every piece of furniture talks being a model warrior having my ass sued off by Arasaka Corps because I used their marketed martini name got sued so much that I was I now owe my life to the BTC not how I got here but man wouldn't right why kill when you can have indentured servitude. I mean, that's that's basically, it's torture, but with benefits to the people who are torturing you. Good point. Oh, ch childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast with me. So, no dreams? None that felt particularly motivated to chase no i mean i'm fascinated by ais but i just couldn't find it in me to study that so i picked something i found nice and moved on and somewhere along the way i became a bartender you see finally those dogs left a mess and i'm not gonna forget anytime soon i mean how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um. Who was he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. 
I heard that. Why were, why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everybody walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you. And come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's that girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Uh, Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So, she's called Kim. How did she look to you? Was she... How was she? She was freaked out when, I woke, when she woke up. But she managed to calm down. Hmm. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm? No, not really. No, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. It's just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Uh, maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. And night one is complete. Total earnings, $2,930. Drinks total, $2,280. Mistakes, none. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, $684. Tip, $650. Flawless service bonus, $500. Here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. $500. Today's total transfer, $2,334. Total funds, the same. Lovely. <clears throat> Hydration break. One of the things I loved about this game, when I played it through the first time in particular, was the fact that it was just one of those things where End of a hard day. I actually, I started, let's see, I started playing this after working my last co-op job uh, somewhere in Center City. And it, it'd be really, really busy days. Coming back, get, getting up at 8 or 7 to get in by 8, come home by 5. I'd have to walk from the center of the city back to my fraternity house, which took a good half hour there and back. And it was, you know, especially during the winter months, it was a very cold, very grueling walk, especially during one particular winter storm. But... At the time, actually, it may not have been, might not have actually been during that co-op. It might have been a little later on, but I know I was living, okay, no, it wasn't that co-op. It was later on because I was living alone at the time. And you start to get a little lonely. And you're like, well, okay, I feel lonely. The fiance is down south in South Jersey. My roommate is in another room now. Hi, fiance. What do you do to pass the time? Well, I could just sit there and watch TV, moping. I could sit there and play a video game and mope. Because at the time, I wasn't too vocal with the friends of mine. I, things have gotten better when you sit in a single location for a very long time. For a very long time, like almost a year now, you start to, to re really realize all these connections that you've got and be like, you know what? I'm going to utilize them. Like a bunch of those string phones. And like, you got all these cups in front of you. But you just got to pick one up, pull it taut, and say hello to whoever's on the other side. But anyway, so... About after the time that I came of drinking age, I was like, you know what? Got a couple of these beers. Had them downstairs in the fridge. I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit there like a like a lump, just scratching my belly and watching whatever's the next big thing on Netflix. I was like, I want something that fits the purpose. And I figured playing this game, the cyberpunk bartending action game, would be the perfect thing to sip a beer to, sip a cocktail to, make a cocktail, enjoy myself. And that's where I kind of like started getting my mixology feet off the ground but uh indeed it took an hour and a half just to get through this first night didn't feel like it not for me at least anyway i digress 
my membership to Shining Fingered. Shining Fingered. I always thought that was Shining Finger. Which is interesting. I wonder. I wonder if Shining Fingered is an, a Steinsgate reference. Steinsgate, another awesome visual novel game and a wonderful anime. My god, is that a cool, cool, cool anime and a wonderful story. It's also science-y and I love science. Anyway, your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hello, hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse danger slash you slash. Kind of like, kind of like Reddit, but danger you r slash u slash danger you can now visit jc elton's i can now visit jc elton's ah yes the shop of course my cat says no weren't you gonna have curry yesterday a ghost took my money anyway i should buy that hollow lamp so as to not be distracted in the day after and i can get it at jc elton's where they sell a variety of different products including a hollow plant in memory of a real potted plants. Confirm? Absolutely. Buy myself a plant. I actually just bought myself some fresh basil the other day. I want some more, more herbs. Anyway, that'll be good. There's there's plenty of other things here too, including these drinks over here. The beer on discount and the Mulan tea can actually be used at the bar in case you don't feel like mixing a drink yourself. In at least one case, one customer. We'll ask specifically for these, tea, these teas uh, and different drinks. So what I'll do is I will buy this Mulan tea as a precaution in case that customer shows up tomorrow, this next night, which he might. He might. No spoilers. No spoilers, of course. And as you can see, now I've got a potted plant right over here. And it's beautiful. Anyway, let's see what is on the... Let's do the... Let's look at you slash Dane. Miki Concert 2. Miki Concert 2. In the last thread, Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. I still don't know! And how is she? I bet she's one of those cute, clueless girls who can't catch your signals. Hmm, you say that, but she can be incredibly sharp sometimes. So I was right! That's gonna be difficult. Now you have to be direct and to the point. I'm afraid that's not... that's going to be the case here. N not that I'm actually in love. <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna marry Miki! Stop being such an attention whore. We are here for Miki. Come on, Anon. Don't be mean. We just want to help a fellow Miki sister. Y y you don't have to fight because of me. It wasn't my intention to derail the thread. Don't pay attention to her. Everyone else here, everyone else here wants to help you. I'm a guy. <laughs> now, who's the attention whore again? The story's closed. Let's talk about Alice Rabbit's. What says on the tin? So what's the news on them? Hmm, drawing a blank right now. We haven't heard of Alice in a while, now that I think of it. Now you think they're planning something? There's this constant rumor I heard about a terrorist attack next week. Don't scare me with that stuff, please! I have enough as it is. Lol, we're going to be attacked and it will be funny to see those white knights fucks do nothing but drink. How do you know if you get acted by Alice? It's my first time reading about that. Lurk more. She normally leaves a funny, asky drawing in a message, something like, Happy not birthday! Perhaps an Alice in Wonderland reference. Sounds lame as fuck. Why is Alice even a celebrity? Mickey Concert one oh, perhaps I should have been reading them up. Oh well. I'll read the comments on here this time. I forgot about that. Mickey Concert. Okay, so let's limit all the concert conversation to this thread. How are you preparing for the best year of your life? I'm going with my boyfriend. Scratched out. That changed. Boyfriend. Why would you lie on the internet? Boyfriend. <laughs> Oh wow, fucking normies get out! That is so cute and not anyway. I'm going with a very special friend of mine. Are you the girl from the other day who had a crush on her best friend? Yeah. So you're finally going to confess? Oh my god, this is going to be the cutest thing. But I still don't know if I like her. Just wait until Mickey shows up. You'll know right away if you love her. Trust me, I've been there. How so? You will understand once you are there with her. Mickey concerts are some magical shit. Mr. Disclosed. Augmented, not naked eye. Augmented. Hmm, local woman. Local hero. By Alana Smithy. This morning, a suicide attempt was thwarted by an unidentified local woman. The incident occurred at the Artemis Wheel Mall, where people noticed someone was at the rooftop of the building. Firefighters were called as soon as their presence was noticed by pedestrians, but the person jumped off without notice. The mysterious rescuer 
Just when the would-be suicide victim jumped off, a local woman was able to catch the mid-air and fled the scene before anyone could identify her. The mob is taking extra precautions now. 70% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. By Lana Smithy. This is not really a surprise, but a lot of people seem to hate this particular brand of instant food. This is from a survey we conducted here at The Augmented Eye last month. We asked our readers to tell us their most hated dishes. And with a total of 6,000 votes, it looks like the market for shrimp ramen is reducing. That's good because it sucks. It sucks so much. I barf a little every time I smell it. How can anybody like that? It's ridiculous. Look, I can't even finish this article. I'm sorry, everyone, but I have to puke. Look, I hope it's out, put out of sale. These assholes of the augmented eye. Newspapers, am I right? <gasps> Rad Sheba. I think Alice, robot, rabbit. Might be a dog. By Lana Smithy. A dog, you say? Why not? After receiving brain enhancements, they're capable of learning at near human speed. So why is it so impossible to imagine a gifted dog who uses their brilliance for programming? It makes a lot of sense, right? Well, maybe. Ooh. Some binary code. Which definitely translated at some point. And I really am not going to take the time to translate it. Instead, I will consult the internet. Valhalla Night 2 Augmented I Binary I have translated before, but I want to see it. I want to translate! I want to read to see what it says I need. Reddit, please, come on. Error. <gasps> An order is form. Oh my god. No. I want to translate. I want to see what the translation is. I can't read binary like that and translate the ASCII. <clears throat> binary code says, the retribution is go. Anyway, time for life backup. Let's give it a save. Number two. I think it is appropriate to dick swig. <clears throat> of water take a munch of popcorn I do not know where your note cards are you can borrow my note cards here take my note cards here take all my note cards here no take 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 note cards take okay no note cards for you then Anna <laughs> anyway Jill those purple numbers the binary the ASCII the retribution is go all right time to go to go to work time to mix drinks and change lives if only I were that enthusiastic about normal positions Good evening. Hey, Jill. <laughs> That's a sound you don't hear every day. <laughs> Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... <gasps> Don't run, you have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Chief? Sorry, I <laughs> thought she was someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. D 
The what? Where now? Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. You all set? Yep. All right. Jukebox. Let's start from... I believe it was Digital Drive where I left off before. Digital Drive. A drive through the digital scape. Drive Metropolis Neon District. Carmatrine Dream. Like an alcohol dream. Fever Dream, maybe? Skyline. Dusk. Part of the city. The city that, a city that never sleeps. Base of the Titans. Follow the trail. Out of orbit. Tense. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah! Okay, so the music that I unlocked in pre previous playthroughs carry through to the new ones. Awesome. I like the song particularly. Anyway, moving on with the night. Digital drive! Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, brat! You're in luck! I decided to bless this place again! Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. He wants a beer. The dude wants a beer. Who knew? And it's a beer he's gonna get. Start him off slow this time. Here. Close. Partial cl credit. He wanted a big beer. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand these interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. yesterday too how did that come about there is this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight yesterday i was tuning the details uh, tuning the details of the interview i've had with her with her today and like i said i'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches i see how was the interview Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. <laughs> We've come a long way in the department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilum then? Yeah, one of those new fancy king class chair, what a models, Kia models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh, the, me? The hell is a John face? Yeah, you, do I know you? I don't think so, sir. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, 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 wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. 
I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. <laughs> scholarship, that's, that's no mean feat, Brett. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then, but because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's, um, it's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy the Chinese can be. So, you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Canto, what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the only one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <clears throat> sure. On it. Mars Blast. That's certainly not a beer. It's, uh, Mars. Not Mercury, not Moon. Mars Blast. One of these is enough to leave your face red, like the actual planet. Spicy. Manly. Strong. A lot of Bronson. Bronson extract sounds like the bitterer. The bitterer -er thing that makes things bitter. Then, two Karmatrine. I can't make it big. So, I'm a blend it. Blend it. Click the button. And shake my own cocktail shaker before it gets water absolutely everywhere. And that's my blend. Mars Blast. There. Here. All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Well, unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good. Fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, and how they feel like they have more power than you do and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in what? But, let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. <laughs> Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. I am obviously always right. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You could sell the shittiest of stuff, and people will buy it. If you're the apple of their eyes... But make one fucking mistake. It's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. 
gods forbid they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in a nearby forest. All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damned namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients, and they're the ones you have to cut to, to target. You gotta target them. I'm in a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure. Let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday! One of the interns, this <laughs> meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she didn't. I spent two days... Two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating. Do you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay, then. One last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Got work to do. Sure. Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. The, I gotta say, something about the idea of sending this guy home, drunk off his ass, to write a newspaper article makes me curious about what the news article will sound like the next day. So let's, yeah, let's fill him up. Um, this one's small, so it can be doubled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Oh, that was too much. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Rocks mixed. Suplex. Served in what appears to be an old fashioned glass with a very honestly it looks like looks like beer in an old fashioned glass. Honestly. little hydration and let's give that suplex to mr. Donovan here yeah this works fine man that gal's producer was angry as fuck trying to negotiate with him it was a hassle I've had less problems dealing with SoCal justice warriors who SoCal justice warriors Mafia, that mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tan folks with big blunt objects. Yeah! They're an interesting group, yeah? They're only except people born or raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in that cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive, too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they're trigger-happy against defamation. 
I've had a dozen guys and speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they were still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it. Watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. I'm pretty sure there's a banana hammocks and bags of batteries audience somewhere, though. No kink shaman, shaman. Somebody's got a... Somebody's into it. Well, mm, I'm out. Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was... <sighs> tiring. Hey, Jill! I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. Or I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper... T What, did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you going to do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe, maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey! Can you see me? Ah, Dorothy! Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man! Sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? <laughs> Jill, I'm going over a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... <gasps> Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, Dad. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see, and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing flopping about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Hmm. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be visible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm. You have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie, surroundings-colored blob. 
And we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Hmm. As the glitch shows up in the top corner. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. Let's go with the type. It is classy. Oh, it is classic. No, it is a promo drink. Gotcha. Piano woman. Sing us a song, you're the piano woman. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in a mood for a melody. Got us feeling all right. It's a big drink, aged and mixed to perfection. The piano woman with a little, what looks like an anglerfish lantern up at the top. Supposedly, it's the female anglerfish that have that little lantern, so perhaps it's appropriate. This drink, the piano woman, was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a piano woman if there was a piano. Alas, that's how we got here. And what I'm going to do is going to take a quick break. And when I come back, we will continue. Game volume seems really high on my end, so I'm going to lower that just a little bit. Alrighty then. Take break. Come back and refill myself. I need a new cocktail. Anyway, be back in a hot minute.
And indeed, parrot time it is. Parrot time is here again. Parrot time is here again. So, I've run out of libation for this gameplay so far. So, I'm going to make myself another one. And I've got all my mixing equipment over here to start with. I don't have a proper camera view for this. So, instead, I'm going to tilt a little bit downward. Oh, no! My cap on my video cam popped off. It is not the best view, but I make myself a cocktail, and I figured those who are interested can continue watching. I'm going to make myself a Negroni, which features Campari bitters, some sort of vermouth. I'm using Martino and Rossi, and some sort of gin. I picked up some blue coat the other, the other day. I love the way the light combines. For, it looks terrible. But the green of this bottle, the red of this bottle, and the blue of this bottle. I love it. To create this captivating cocktail, I will first pour an ounce of bitter Campari into this mixing glass. Which I will pour like so. That's one ounce of that. Don't spill it on your desk, Cameron. Please don't. Because then future Cameron has to clean that up later. That's one of those. Then, oh, what comes next? It's the, aha! It's the vermouth, which was chilling prior to stream start. Apologies that my break was a little long. I was preparing myself for the next libation. Pour that on in there. Everything is having a beautiful, beautiful dark red color so far. And then, following that, I will top that off with a full ounce. You heard it. Another ounce, just a single one, of some blue coat gin. Which is, in my opinion, very, very botanical. I'd say, I don't, I've never tasted a juniper berry. But it's very gin-like, this particular gin. So I'm going to take a gander and say, it's forward on the juniper. That's my gander. I am no professional, but I'm a hobbyist and a self-proclaimed interested party. Following that, oh, where's my strainer? Oh, there's my strainer. Following that, I'm just going to just give this a stir. Give this a bit of a stir. No need to shake this one. Do I do have a shaker on standby? Just in case. Until it's to my liking. Beautiful. <sighs> Chilling. And then what I shall do is in my glass there will strain this bad boy with a little strainer which I gate down so as not to collect all the ice and pour I'll do that so it's actually more viewable yeah yeah I'll take that to those who are watching under the legal drinking age in your country of residence I encourage you don't try this at home Unless you're using non-alcoholic, properly covered uh, mixtures as I used when I took bartending classes many, many moons ago because I wanted to. I'm not a professional. I am merely a hobbyist, and I'll put that to the side. Finally, looking a little sad there. This is also a very big glass for this. I could have done a double, but I don't want to. I'm going to garnish it with, I don't have an orange, but I do got a clementine, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, I just got citrus juice. My streaming laptop. Damn. Whatever. I'll clean it in the morning. That's future Cameron's problem. And do this with an orange wedge. And it's self-explanatory. It is a wedge of... <laughs> it's a really funky looking orange web. Because it's a clementine. With a little cut down the center. Just so that it fits on my glass. Doop. I love it. This man Negroni. This man Negroni. Often also served with... Could be an orange twist. If I had a little bit of... Um, you know what? Actually, before I even do that, what I'm going to do, taking the microphone with me, is grab myself a peeler, and I'm going to peel some of the clementine so that I can squeeze some of the trapped oils in the peel onto into my drink so it'll smell more 
like orange or clementine. I am not super good at peeling, so if I hurt myself, well, that's just what's bound to happen. No professional. Once again, just a hobbyist. If I hurt myself, well, you saw it here first. Cool. It's a little thing of zest. Just basically just gonna like like almost like it's a like it's a f piece of paper. You just zip. Fold it in half right over the top of your drink. Tastes like orange peel. But even more so than it did before. And it makes the drink smell oh, so super, super wonderful. And I will fix my camera. I should just have another. I should have a. I should probably have a camera for close ups. Anyway. The Negroni with equal parts gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. You could do it with dry if you wanted to. Smells orangey, clementiney, I guess. It's, it's lovely. It's got a very, well, Campari is bitter. Campari is very, very bitter. And it's got a sort of astringency that almost makes you think like you're biting straight into like a savory but bitter herb. Um, in addition to that, the vermouth is actually a little sweet. A little sweet. Is this another one? I don't know if that's the one. That might one. Sorry, I'm figuring out my... There we go. That's the one. That's the correct one. The link back to cyberspace. Uh, anywho, what was I saying? The, the sweet vermouth is only slightly sweet. It's like... <laughs> as sweet as biting into merely the skin of an apple. You know it's sweet. It's sweet compared to other things. But not... Not sweet like sugar. Not sweet like candy. And combined with that is the gin, which kind of gives it a very, for lack of a better term, it's it's alcohol. It's very, in addition to whatever herbs are in that Campari, the gin adds to it. Vermouth is basically like red wine, but it's kind of vinegary, almost. Very acetic. Anyway, no more technical details. Y'all came for the game. Let's go for the game. Parrot time! Cool. Sound still coming through? Check! Awesome. And here's a piano woman for you, Dorothy. One piano woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay then, how's this for bonus payments? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... <clears throat> if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed, and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible fine consider this a standing offer though oh hey John ah Dorothy didn't see you here last Friday I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend and Monday yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. 
And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No. But, never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that I wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> bit early for these stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I just I used to experience expect him to push me again. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years. Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died. Four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Makes me think that was Ingram. The down to earth emo like dude that came in on day one. Yeah. I hire some girl to be my daughter for a day. Gotcha. Now, last time I played this, I decided that the less alcoholic ones would go to Dorothy and some other favorite characters. I'm doing the opposite this time. She's getting a double. Kind of want to see what Dorothy's like when she gets a little... Anyway, on the rocks. Blended. Shake a shake a shake a. The Moonblast. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Stop. It's a Moonblast. My thing came undone again. It's very wet. It's very annoying. It's all over the place. Anyway. Water. Water. Here. The reason why that gets wet, by the way is usually in a shaker if it's colder on the inside than the outside there is pressure built up and it keeps the thing shut if it's not cold on the inside or just warm there is no pressure it comes loose unless i hold it like a hydraulic press together shit comes out but it's no problem it's just water maybe it'll wash off the clementine juice that's currently on my stream laptop here there's something interesting about this drink i don't actually like it can't stop drinking them. Tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder when you, uh, when you feel that like that. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's, it's not about that. Do you all... DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? 
Nope, every fresh DFC 72 looks like about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC 72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to... Uh, does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure. No hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. Yeah, it's supposed to be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, then. Let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud next to one gut punch. So the first one is going to be the gut punch because it's on the left side. The gut punch. The gut punch. One, two, three, four, five, one. Optional? Yeah. Go for it. And I'm making big ones, so why not? Let's do it. This one is aged and mixed. That's our gut punch. And in slot two, we will make the sunshine cloud. The sunshine cloud tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel, too. This one's a big one. It's a hefty one. Lots of carmatrine. And on the rocks and blended water everywhere. And I did that. There's also whiskey stones in there because I didn't want the ice to melt. It's not ice in there. Sunshine cloud in a boiler spherical type container. But yeah, those whiskey stones are like, I think they're soapstone. They're in pieces right now, probably. Oh, well. I got my gut punch and sunshine cloud. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something uh, private? <laughs> if you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I think you can ask me something I've never been asked for. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines of the other person after... Well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <clears throat> yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? 
We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like, the way that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's it's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC's 52s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam! <laughs> their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking mach nano machines were still being released, <laughs> I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, it, go go right ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll um tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with this meanie. Thank you. Please, come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does, and it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Kill! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry about it. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. A Mars Blast Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Something about that seems tempting. Let's see, the Mercury Blast is sour, classy, and burning. Honestly, I want to see what happens when I give him the Mercury Blast, so I'm going to go with it. I already did my trying to be perfect run of this game. I'm going to get a little crazy. Mercury Blast. All on the rocks. Blended. Blended. No thermometer was harmed in the creation of this drink. And it's been blended. Boop. Mercury Blast. And it's blue. Sharp contrast. Here you are. Wrong astral body, Jill. Mercury. It was such a mystical metal age ago, ages ago. Well, if you saw a liquid that's all silvery and shiny, you'd think there's something mystical about it. I think there was a Chinese emperor that died from drinking mercury mixed with powdered jade. That would cause liver failure, mercury poisoning, and brain death. You know a lot about toxicology, don't you? Just enough. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to be to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, uh, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fight in a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. I 
I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off, and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Break time now. Just a little vibe check in the midst of world terror, world sickness, but the pleasure of video games and company. Let's save this one. Doop. On the break. Ah, we got plenty of water. Don't need a break this time. Just a couple of swigs. Yeah, after speaking for a while, the vocal cords start to get a little tensed up. Gotta relax them. And always, always drink water. Always we drink water while you're drinking. All right, moving on. Ain't no stopping this train. It's now safe to keep playing. At 2069, Sukeban Games. Or copyright. Not at. That's not the at symbol. <clears throat> Boss should clean the kitchen buckets, she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Anyway, after turns, let's switch out some musica with something different. Back to... I'll start at tons again because I love that song. Underground Club, Showtime, and Alternate Reality, The Assignment, Glitch City, Re Snowfall, Re Face of the Titans, and I love this song. I like this song. Um, where are you? I love that one, and this one is calming. So, you could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How did you get that helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet sure made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. <laughs> right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. What kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar. Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much to be honest what do you recommend for me what do you normally enjoy I like tea that's it's not something I can work with what about flavors bitter but not too bitter sorry if it's too confusing something bitter but not too much maybe something bitter and girly uh, let me see what I can get you now, something like tea. I bought tea. Milan spiced tea. Every here, drink here is priced at $500. Dana. Let's see. She likes spiced tea. Let's see if she likes it. Never tried this before. I did not have the power of foresight the last time I played, so let's see. Ooh! I think it worked. Hey, I like this one. Didn't you say you didn't have tea? Well, it's not freshly made tea or anything like that. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you to through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kiramiki. 
So, so should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? No, you're you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Mickey. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira. You say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira. Mickey. No, 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 no. More, put more spirit into it. Kira. M Mickey. Almost there. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. Kira. Mickey. And don't you ever forget it. Silence. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, um, uh, Jamie? Right, I was, I was telling you, um... Wow. You're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. A and what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We plan for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal and that's nice. Oh, for 100,000 is not many? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it, it's let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, no, I mean soft as in soft. Soft. Um, let's see what I can get you. I think the fluffy dream will be perfect here. Fluffy dream. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. Soft. Let's see what a double will do for you, Miss Idol. It's a hard liquor, show no bounds kind of night. Hence the short drink that I've prepared for myself. The Negroni. Um, what is it? Aged and mixed. Man, that is... That's a fluffy dream, all right. Try this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more... theatrical when mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like... spinning bottles and... lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. Let me digress for a moment. Setting drinks on fire. Incredibly entertaining. Don't drink drinks that are on fire. Don't keep them near flammable objects. But when you got those shot, that shot layered just right with some like 151 on top or just straight isopropyl alcohol, I guess if you're not drinking it, the fire is just beautiful. 
in a dark room, well ventilated, not my apartment's bathroom. Moving on. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure. I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl? Oh. For Jill then. With an X. But leave out the X. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you is their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. A and she fails to see the problem. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way that they found it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know. I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, no, wait, no, no, it isn't. Yeah, you get me, Jill. I do? Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night until dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have been bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Something bitter to server you up a, a, a bit. One of these is like that. Um, no, not that one. I think it was the fringe. Bitter pile driver? No. What could it possibly be? Small threads turning on the throat. Mm. Twisty temple. Twisty for fans of the movie. One of these was one of the ones to wake you up. What is this? I thought it was the fringe one. Something different? Sour? Bubbly? No, I'm wrong. I 
Sunshine Cloud? See, it tastes like caramel too. I'm so indecisive. Made of innards, describes what you feel like. Yeah, you know what? It'll perk you right up, pop star. I will make it a big one, but this time I'm not gonna add the, I'm not gonna add the alcohol. She's got a show to do. I'm gonna ruin the show. All aged and mixed. The gut punch. Sounds. Carmatrine alcohol. Try this. Oh yeah. This works. Bitter drinks. My specialty tonight. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice. Thanks. I hope you weren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki. He's a very accomplished uh, pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol? Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to the music while working and well, lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. No. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then. I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll... come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girls' concert? Nah, I don't think so. I, have, I don't have tickets anyway. Hey, boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. Y you're what? Huh? huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? And that way I was three times faster. How'd you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. You'd really like it. Maybe you'd like it. Maybe. In any case, um, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss. Don't cram anything on your head without tinkering, thinking, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another successful bartending evening. Results. Total earnings, $6,640. Drinks total, $1,530. Mistakes, none. Commission, 30. Today's payment, $459. Tips, $950. Fall is service bonus, 500. Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. $300. Total transfer, 2,209. Total, 3043.
Awesome. High five. Nice. Cool. Cool. Let me check one moment on something. And we'll see if we're continuing for the night. I have official approval from the roommate to go for another night. Anywho, my membership to Shining Finger will automatically renew. We already know this. Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. And I can now browse Kira Miki's blog. So let's go to the shop and buy your love is a drug. If I don't already have it. Your love is a... Idol Hell, a magazine with all things idols. has a download code for love is a drug. Boop. And let's see, the owner's trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. What was... How much do I owe and by what time? The 17th. It is the 15th by now. I need to have $800 in my account. Looks like I may have enough for more drinks on discount. Beer on discount. The owner's trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. Beer, 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 beer. Beer, beer, beer. Where's my beer? Look at all that beer in the corner now. My hollow tree, the best boss, my my cat, and I'm a slut. Let's catch up on the news. You slash. Danger. All right. Mickey concert three. In the last thread, Anon hates fun. <laughs> I don't want fights. You people are so immature. Immature? Immature? What's wrong with being a guy in danger you? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off. Dudes, in danger you. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 207X and you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. <sighs> anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official danger you meet up. Like... I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Mickey Concert 4. And the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did that one and on left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any ideas for the Great Revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know, we know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes! Yeah. Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. <gasps> kiss. Of course, just try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I'll, I'll think about it. Alice Robot, thread two, rabbit. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Oh, oh yeah. And I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. December 17th will come. The second retribution birthday is coming. That font. Oh, boy. Spooky font. It's happening! <laughs> time for despair. Oh, shit, fuck. <laughs> the fact when I just got out of jail... I'm not going back! Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, cy cybercrime unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Admin burr. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. And time for the news. The augmented eye. Is Alice Rabbit a group? The answer here. By Lana Smitty. Who is Alice Rabbit? Judging by the complexity of the methods they've used to breach all kinds of protected software, some are starting to think this is, in fact, a group and not a single individual. So is Alice Rabbit a group after all? Not the first time this would be a thing. More than half a century ago, a group of notorious hackers rose to prominence, and they called themselves Anon. <laughs> they weren't even a threat to real protected data. December 17th. Spooky font. I should really ask Alma what her take on Alice Rabbit is. Qu 
Quincy, one more civil death and will ban protests by Kimberly Lavalette. After the numerous protests held around the city, which are caused by an ongoing economic and safety crisis, Quidditch City's Prime Minister Quincy has made it clear that if the rioters take another civilian life, he'll personally write a law to ban all kinds of public manifestations. This simply can't go on, Quincy told Augmented, augmented Eye during a call. The only... They only want to destroy public property. They're actively sabotaging our efforts to recover our beautiful city, and I've decided that if they cause another civilian casualty, I'll be doing everything in my power to ban protests. The White Knights will have full authorization to use maximum force. Quincy will be running for a second term next year. Neo San Francisco, socked by a powerful earthquake. Billions saved by Kimberly Lavalette. A powerful 8x6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Unfortunately, uh, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Quincy's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo San Francisco for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Which city is not currently known to be a seismic zone? So where did it come from, the earthquake? Hmm. What we couldn't do with the money he'll use for that anyways. And for Kiramiki's blog. What I do to relax by Miki. It's been very hectic as of late. So I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination. I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. Emoticon. So that's what she meant by a tea-like drink. Dome concert! Hi everyone, are you ready for the dome concert? I sure am. I perform at a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all of your favorite songs, so please, be excited. Just want a little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium, or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please, don't do it. Thanks, Glitch City. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me, and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless that said i'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city it wasn't easy to set up but i'm so happy my agency approved it this is by far our biggest show and i can't wait to experience it again see you soon my darlings love miki hmm so she'll actually come again that is nice and through those i will perform my life backup save and one more day of grueling, grueling bartender work. Thursday, December 15th. Even. Oh, hi there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Gillian. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. I hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I, I don't know what for. She'll be back. All right. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. <gasps> More, more. Musica.
honestly, I'm chill with this. I'm moving on. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something that made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Hmm. I went to a school that made us stand with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school, so... Yeah, it's... It's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. To G... G... Uh, I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kiramiki girl came here res yesterday before her concert, actually. Oh, yeah, now I see her name there. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. The stoic-looking duo, right? Yep. Those. Hmm. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? Uh, it'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You can pretend to be more interested, you know. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all these pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some sne seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You should piss off a hacker. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You! Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Pfft, sure. I'm a what's a bad touch. It's got two Bronson and Stract, two Powder Delta, two. Lantern Guide and some Carmotrine on the rocks and mixed. We're nothing but mammals after all. That bad, bad, oh so nasty touch. Sour, classy, vintage, and green. Here. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing. Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies. Yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stay with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still just getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? last night your cat doesn't count a year ago it was messy see 
I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking while making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, give me something weird, would you? Hmm. Ventriloquism. Weird. A weird drink. Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. Promo jinx fit that bill easily. So let's do it. A promo drink. Promo drink. Promo drink. Something like the Zen Star, which is like never ever old. Four of each ingredients. Do, 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 do. Oh no! Fucked up. Those diagonals are tough on my fingers. There we go, and it's on the rocks and mixed. So there's your mix. There's your Zen Star. It's blue, it's beautiful. It looks like it has a palm leaf on the top of it. I love it. Here's your Zen Star. Yeah, this this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Read, they left at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. No, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a Brantini, then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Repeat that for a little bit. This is my vibe music. I, I usually play Valhalla with literally just the song playing in the background, so I'm going with it. Anyway. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they've prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity, watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything everyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essential a pet that press made up. The antithesis of your usual bogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know? Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity... But it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if, suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough about that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out 
took some time for too long. Oh. That. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way, you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, no. Any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you to hang out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are helpless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. Finally, that's the Alma I know. Big Brantini. Got it. Can't do that. Brantini. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two more Comatrine aged and mixed. Large Brantini. It's a large Brantini. Sip of that. Moving on. Hydration. Here. Oh. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. Big. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. Brand. Brand teeny. I see. You know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Got those alcohol hiccups. Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I got my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your clients, or...? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember I once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, that's... Way I that way I lose a lot less time. Actually, because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. Also, I don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... <sighs> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and I always forgot to ask. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya! Take care. Hello, sugar. 
Ow! Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. <laughs> I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees somebody he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry, you're you're safe. Flatter than the field of my summer house. A bit of advice, you shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. I uh, gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual he says. Once as usual. Three days. Here he is his usual drink. And it's a double beer. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, and fill to the brim with alcohol. Karma train. Mix. Bam. Big beer. Big beer for me, Mr. Donovan. Sip. Drop my clementine in my drink. Give it a squeeze. A little orange juice. The usual. A big beer. Sure. This will work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So, um, I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? The hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, the signature on that glass over there. Oh, yeah? That big-titted Lilim was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of our visit? No. Gossip-worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey, kid. Do you think Lilum have nipples? Excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So, yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilum chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. All right, Mr. Dawson. But I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. C can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a little look good? Oh, a bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wonder if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. <clears throat> Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop with a singer? How can one share when there is honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm going to be a good citizen today. Let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really. No. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece, and even better, makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses and something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They send a message to some outlets saying that they have proof of their claims. 
that they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see. I think. I know, right? All right, kid. Give me a Bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. All right. Bleeding Jane. A cousin. Sister. Close distant relative of the Bloody Mary. And you, sir, are getting a big one. Why? Because you're an asshole. I think you deserve it. This is my way of ex exhibiting vigilante justice. Say the name of this drink three times in front of a mirror and you'll look like a fool. Spicy. Classic. Sobering. Like a Bloody Mary. Mix time! <laughs> it's fake. There's nothing in here. It's just water. It's a prop. Get used to it. Bleed, Jane. It's red. It's sobering. It's bloody. It's yours. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some a bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I hear someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of a stadium. Threw it so hard, her arm fell off. Maybe that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. <laughs> well, gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank you for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please, come again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be back. And it is break time. I have run dangerously low. So, what I'm going to be do, whew, what I'm going to do is I'll be back in a hot second, take my break, and I'll make another drink. And I'll do it just like I did before. So, I will prepare that, and I will be back in the meantime. Please enjoy these parrots. If you haven't followed yet, follow if you want to. I like to make cocktails. I love to play games. I like to chat. It's fun. If you want to. No pressure. But join the party. It's a fun time. Parrot time.
And welcome back to everybody. My break is over. And it's time to get back to work. I went on a cocktail. So, make myself another one. I tried a very, very fun Manhattan last night. One that I actually thought tasted good. So I'm going to do a little riff on it. I did different whiskey last night. This one's Canadian. I'm doing Canadian this time. And I feel like sharing it with y'all. My Manhattan will consist of, in a glass, two ounces of this whiskey. It is not a rye whiskey. Uh, to my knowledge, it's a blended. I don't know if they use... Well, let's see. After perfecting his recipe and maturing the distinct blend in oak barrels, master distiller Jack Napier drew a glass, reveling in the taste. He pronounced it black velvet, epitomizing the smoothest of blended Canadian whiskey. Does that know if it tastes like maple syrup? No, it does not. Though... I did just buy maple syrup the other day because I know cocktails that use maple syrup. And I'd love to make one of those one day. But I always had that butter syrup, like the Mrs. Butterworth stuff. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Not liking it. The what? The bomb? Maple syrup's the bomb? Butter syrup is the bomb, according to the fiance. I, for one, like that maple syrup. And an unsolicited comment from a fellow store goer at the Whole Foods said the darkest ones are the best. This particular whiskey does not smell of maple syrup for the most – actually, you know what? To be perfectly honest, a little bit. I could honestly picture that. Do you want to, do you want to try a smell, dearest? Honestly, it's a, it's a little ma – they might have used maple wood in the casks. Yeah, kind of like the darker ones. They're good. Smell a little bit ma maple syrupy? Maybe a little bit? Is it whiskey? It's whiskey, yeah. It smells like whiskey. Smells like whiskey? All right, cool, cool. All right, it smells like whiskey. That's the that's the unbiased opinion. Anyway, two ounces of my blended whiskey. It is not rye, so it's not usual for Manhattan. I believe they usually use a rye whiskey. Uh, as a friend of mine, not a friend, I don't know him personally, guy on YouTube, love him, Greg, nice guy, watch him. Had said, if what you like is in the glass, then you did something right. Then, as per usual, I only have one sweet vermouth. I need to, I need to, what's the term? In stock markets, when you don't have all your eggs in one basket. I need to do that with my vermouths, because I seem to be using my vermouths a lot. I'm making things like Manhattans. I'm making things like um, whatever else uses vermouth. God, the Negroni used some vermouths and things of that caliber. Uh, but it's one ounce of that and included as that is a few dashes of angostura bitters it's got that it's got that spice to it there's a certain spice to this one the angostura bitters i once had a cocktail that had an entire ounce of this stuff you're just supposed to drip it it's like cinnamony if you haven't had it before i like more i like more than less so i'm gonna go with like five to six drops but normally it'd be like two to three so the blood wine, yes, the recipe of the Klingon blood wine was indeed when we used a lot of this. So much so that I bought more. You can buy bitters at Target or Walmart. They'll probably check your ID, probably. But probably the only alcohol, aside from the isopropyl, that I've able to uh, been able to obtain at my local Target. Spill this bad girl up. Up and up and up and up and up. Really? Yeah, keep an eye out for that at your local Walmart's and bitters. You'll find it in the cocktail section. Really not the cocktail section, but wherever you find mixers and shit like that. Anyway. Oh, that is haunting. That's different. Different than yesterday. Define mixers. So, I'm going to say you're the mixer that I'm referring to are those pre-made cocktail things like, "Oh, just add vodka bloody mary mix." Um, that's not that's not what I usually refer to as a mixer. Um, but in those aisles like the "Add vodka for a bloody mary" or "Just add vodka for your mojito" or rum or for white rum with Bacardi for your mojito, you'll find them. Um, I want to say they're at the end of the um uh, like snack aisle, something like that. Anyway, that's my Manhattan. It's not garnished yet. It needs to be garnished. This deserves a proper orange twist, which I am going to try to do with this tiny clementine. I'm going to try my best. This. I don't know if I can get... I'll, tr I'll try to give the camera some love there, so I'm not just sitting on myself. I'm going to try 
my best is. Like I mentioned before, if I cut myself, you saw it here first, it wouldn't... Oh, that was a, that was a lame piece. That was a bad one. I'm never good at peeling. Um, oh, yes, yes, I was talking about mixers. That'll be like the um, just-add-alcohol cocktails that you'll find in, like, Walmart. Aside from that, a mixer is basically anything alcoholic that you would mix with your your drinks to obtain a different flavor, like your cranberry juice or your orange juice or your orjo or your uh, making some oleo sacrum right now. Sorry, um, orange juice was just spilling on me. Can't let that good shit go to waste. Tasty, tasty. It's... I don't have a lot of clementine to work with, so I got this guy. And all I'm going to do is, just like before, I'm just going to fold it over top. I'm going to give it a twist. It looks terrible. I just drop it in my glass. That's my... It's really shitty Manhattan. I want more orange peel in there. Let's go for it. It's bartending accident tonight. It's making drinks tonight. We're making drinks tonight. Let's do another one. Oh, no. My peel. It's okay. I definitely cleaned these floors at least a week ago. Spritz. Two orange peels. I like that. I don't think this one calls for a wedge. Yeah, I haven't really seen stuff like that, that or I don't know where to look. Honestly, just gotta know where to look. To be perfectly honest, until I found out that you could put, that you could find bitters in Walmart, I, I, I wasn't looking for them. I think this is the right one. Is this left? That's right. This ear. Anyway, untie myself. I will be getting a Bluetooth card sometime this week, so I don't have to. I don't have to fight with my wire into the net. Anyway, I made three three drinks tonight. I made the Ninja Turtle, which is green, blue curacao, gin filled with orange juice. I have also made a Negroni, which is equal parts. Um. Campari, gin, and sweet vermouth of your choice. Any brand, honestly, with a wedge of orange on the side. And I've also made myself Manhattan. Not a perfect Manhattan. That'd be equal parts. This is the two ounces of whiskey. It's not rye. It's Canadian. Um, and an ounce of sweet vermouth, Martino Rossi, because I have no others. In addition to that, some dashes of Angostura bitters. Can't go wrong with Angostura bitters. And it is... It smells orangey, because I spritzed orange all over it. Oh, that tastes odd. It's like... Yeah, you know what? Almost a little maple-y. It's like, it's like if cinnamon and maple syrup were combined together, cooked for a little bit, strained the cinnamon out of it, this is what I imagine that maple syrup would look like. Or, to, excuse me, would taste like. And, of course, it's alcohol. It, th I think that sweetness is accentuated of the whiskey. is accentuated by the vermouth because it's sweet works kind of well um let's see there's there was something else to it too i mean obviously it smells like orange it's, it's super enjoyable if there's anybody else out there who does cocktails or just know of cocktails they like i i love mixology uh, this has just been a hobby that i've developed i kind of gave my spiel earlier but before i started drinking or Excuse me, that's a really weird say to say it. Before I started playing this game in particular, I had heard of it, didn't really play it. Time came around, I had fraternity life, they wanted beer. I was like, eh, beer sucks, I like spirits. And it was like, you know what, spirits taste better when you mix them with things. But you gotta, you gotta do it properly. As I adjust my camera over here back to, I think that's okay now. Yes, but so, it's become a hobby. It's become a hobby for me. It's just, I've always been entertained. The concept of, Mixing things together. I was the kid who, in the bathtub, would mix all the shampoos and conditioners together, probably creating mustard sauce and, uh, mustard sauce. Harmful chemicals for a young lad like me to breathe in, in the bathtub, because I was like, you know what, I just want to see what happens when I put two or one two together, and it, it, uh, clearly has persisted into my adult years. I mean, kind of goes into things. Anyway, I've talked long enough. You can only stare at fancy colored liquid that inebriates you for so long. So, it's back to the game. Back to Valhalla. A wonderful cyberpunk bartending action game, which encourages me to make a cocktail. Third one of the night. It's a good time. 
bitters might be by snacks and non-alcoholic things. Well, I wouldn't imagine that you would find alcoholic things in general, aside from your bitters, in your local Walmart or Target. I want to say it's in the snacks section. Basically, if you find grenadine, um, um, Mastero Mixes, that's the brand, basically add your own vodka, add your own rum, add your own X liquor here, then you're in the right place, and you will more than likely find bitters in that particular location. Um, all right. We're getting back at it. We're going with it. We'll try it. And let's do it. Let's do it. To it. It's now safe to keep playing. It is. Because I've refueled. Oh, and always, as with everything as well, when you are drinking alcohol of any kind, please keep hydrated. I have a bottle of water on standby. The entire time. Not just for your not just for your safety, but for your well-being in general. <laughs> Hangovers aren't fun. Don't do it. And of course, if you are not at the drinking age, don't try this at home. If you are at the drinking age, don't don't waste all your money on it. Yeah. Hmm. I hum to the jukebox. Let's go with. I'll take it. Let's go with. Noted. Thank you, Mr. Bar Mr. Tender. You're welcome, Meatball. I'm happy to be of assistance. Alcohol should be about fun and a little bit of indulgence. Boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah. I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you to ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a building? Ah, yes, the levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just, who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the VA11 Hall A bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is Say planning now? Excuse me? Uh, I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. What was the drink that whose name was changed after people caused a stink? Well, that's the piano woman. I know that one because I served it to your friend Sandy. Five aldehyde, which I'm pretty sure is an actual chemical, and then the Bronson Impact, two powder delta, three flanner again, and three carnal trium, all aged and mixed together. Originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a piano woman if there's a piano man. God. Where there's one, there must be the other, I guess. Anyway, mix that up. There you go. Piano woman. Boom. It's got a little thing on it. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know Samus? I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. 
Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes. Yep, in fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh! God, she left her helmet behind again! Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Says as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very... competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place or... We're meeting here today. I, I can see why she shows this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Hmm. Say, is, is that Kirimiki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I... I mean... She did. Yeah. Nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep. This... This star-like signature is... Hers. So, your name is Jill, then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. Cool, cool Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello, where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I take it that was say? Yeah. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like have another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Alright. Honor of a good friend. That was the Piano Man. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. That will never get old. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. You got us feeling all right. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I o overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But the colors, the stories, the way you need to keep them stored, the designs. Sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage uh, little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm more normally, normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. 
I see. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic too, and I figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What, like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's just one for each? Oh, don't worry, you'll see. Fringe weavers. Bubbly drinks, oddly enough. Bubbly, classy, strong, like drinking. Ethylic alf alcohol with food full of sugar. And it's aged and mixed. One fringe, and then the other. Pretty sure that the fringe is an area of Night City. It might be. I'm sorry, not Night City. This is Glitch City. I get confused sometimes. I get confused because I don't play a lot of cyberpunk. I play a little bit of it. I actually built this computer just so I could play cyberpunk. It's cool. It's nice. I like it. Uh, but in addition to that, I've been reading the cyberpunk uh, uh, flagship trilogy series. The, the Neuromancer, Count Zero, and Mona Lisa Overdrive. I finished the first two books. And it also takes place in Night City. So I get myself confused sometimes. I have not played Valhalla in a while. This is the first time in a while. I was thinking about it earlier this week and I was like, you know what would be really cool? I sat down and played Valhalla again, because I used to use this as a way just to de-stress and relax. It's been almost four hours now, and it really, really hasn't felt like that. It just feels like another night that I've been relaxing, except my mouth has been running much, much more. Anyway, moving on. Now we got two fringe weavers. Go for it. Two fringe weavers. And a sip of the cocktail. So, this one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Ooh, that way you could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be safe for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of the jam button? Nah. Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be, it'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's, it's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Okay. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. 
I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. All right. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You come and say? No. I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay, then. Take care. Bye. She's such a worry wart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Eh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby. It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing and that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on. But I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like... Working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. Zaibatsu Corps' main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about this associated sphere of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately, they seem restless. Too much politics out. It hurts my brain. I just, just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. Preach. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager, and I was panicked because he trusted me. Well, he said, You're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message. But it's his intention that counts. Oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like rear entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on! You know the audience would have gone wild for that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes! Thank you! Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing! Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each! Alright. Two blue fairies. Blue, blue, blue fairy. Oh, you trying some red wine? Nice. Did you have anything to eat with it? I'm curious as to what you paired it with this evening. Let's see. Let's go. Doubles. For both of them. Why not? Alright, aged and mixed. Did I do it right? Oops! I did not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, that's eight, and then fill it to the brim with Carmatrin, aged and mixed. Blue Fairy, wonderful, and then the same thing over here. That is seven, and then eight, and two, Flatter Guide, and Carmotrine, Carmotrine, adding in the alcohol. Two Blue Fairies. Drink some nice red wine. Oh boy, a good girl and a good girl. Oh my, oh my, oh my, Wamo. Shibiru. Two blue fairies. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? 
And it's blue like your hair. It is. So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. All right, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. Meatball frozen meals. Awesome. Meat and red wine often go together. The, to digress for a moment, the tannins in the red wine, the thing that kind of makes your mouth feel a little bit like sandpaper and the rest of your mouth, pair well when dulled by the fat content in most meats. If nobody knows what I'm talking about when I say tannins, all you need to do is run to your local grocer, pick up a persimmon, and munch on it. Your mouth will feel like sandpaper for the next half minute. It is torturous. It is terrible. But if you don't know what a tannin is, you will know afterwards. Aside from that, you could also just bite into the skin of a grape or the skin of literally any other um, fruit like an apple or a pear. That's tannin. Anyway. Say say. Yes, yes. Say say. Say say. Hmm. Say. Why didn't you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Yeah, the wine feels much better tonight compared to last night. Cool, cool. I'm glad. The heavy oils in the meatballs might be what's doing it for you. Perhaps. Ah, not that I would know. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So, if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh, yeah, the little bit of dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid bat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a BEB-069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. Oh, duh, what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, the joints, and the skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD-113 of Realta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. S so Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh? I'm not in law enforcement, I just do rescue, and even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Oh. I want to know, though, why go through with that upgrade? Girl's got to take care of herself, you know? Oh. I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I can tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. 
you can get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and reg not regular use, of course. I see, I see. Well, I've got to go. Ah, yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Please, come again. <laughs> I thought she was going to take me away. They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two, if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask... About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes sense... It feels so soft no matter how much it's been battered. All right then. So you uh, fancy yourself a diviner reading people and all? Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. What can you say about me then? Let's see. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There is an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually get the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All that was just rubbish, I said, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. <laughs> but this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stall for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss. This might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning and I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your head out of a jar. Oh, yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I, I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey, Gil, how did you get my hand out of the jar? The straw and some butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss... Why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z1. Still, Jill's on to something here. <clears throat> yeah, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. Pow. 
Results for the day. Total earnings, $10,450. Drinks total, $340. Mistakes, none. Commission, 30. Today's payment, 102. Tips, 900. Fall of service bonus, 500. Everything will turn out all right in the end. Don't worry. Pretty sure that's the name of one of the songs. 300. Total transfer, 1,802. Total funds, 3,545. $800 have been charged. Nice to my account. Renew my membership to Shining Fingered. Just subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at, focusing at work today. Happy not birthday. Excuse me. Cat says, you really like that website, huh? I have needs. Let's see what the news has to say for today. Something in the Danger You. Mickey Concert for Mickey Concert 4. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did that one anon leave? Left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking and I caused it. Oh. I already read that one. Uh, how about this one? This one I already read. How about this one? It's officially happening! What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. Nothing. There's nothing that they can't do what if that spooky message wasn't really alice but just an epic prank who would hack a site like this just for a prank <laughs> not me you're right though it might be something else we'll have to wait and see what was that date again december 17th right if only we knew more about the target now sick meme sis these alice threads piss me off fuck you e celebs hmm what if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors Let's see what the newspaper has for signing off. Um, okay. <clears throat> Crime rate up 5% this month by Kimberly Vallette. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of the personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main cause of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families. It's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Now, well, could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Alice Wright B. Rabbit might be a Kirimiki fan, and who isn't, by Lana Smitty. Everyone loves Kirimiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering, what's my proof for this not-so-wacky theory? And well, I'll keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is an easy one if you just... I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smitty. Spooky. You wouldn't believe this shocking Kirimiki secret, by Kimberly Lavalet. Today, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on The Augmented Eye. Content blocked in your region. It's a local page for fuck's sake. Damn it. Let's see what I can purchase in the shop for this evening. And that will be what I call a night. There are... There's hydration to be had and... Work to do in the morning. Let's see. There is nothing here that would enhance my drink making ability, but let's see. You know, Jill deserves something nice, which is why I'm a, I'm purchasing for her the Alex figurine from cult classic video game Y2K. His beard grows in real time, like a chia pet. Hot. Let's go with. Not a sentient. Just keeping the ass. That's expensive. Mega Christmas is coming up. Might as well buy a tree too. That's all the purchasing I'm making. Got my tree in the background. And um, whatever, whatever else I just bought. The figurine. Bet it's that thing. And of course, my grandfather's liquor collection up on the top there. In any case, I will give this a save for the evening. It is now midnight, and I must be getting myself to bed, for there is work to be done in the morning. 
work to be done, things to do, law books to read. It's a hard knock life. I certainly hope everybody's day has been quite nice and enjoyable for the evening. It's, uh, it's been nice. Been all, all quiet on the restroom front, so to speak. But I must keep quiet. My fiance is sleeping. And I must go to sleep too. I definitely want to come back to this. Valhalla. I love I love this game so much. It just it's it's relaxing. I feel like it was one of the first times that I was actually able to sit down and just like enjoy the ride of a game, a mental experience, and just really distract from the world at large. Which, don't get me wrong, is what people use alcohol for, but it should be done in a way that is not self-harming. Enjoyment. It's it's only... Do it for fun. If you're not enjoying it, don't. If it's becoming bad, don't. But for those who are able to tolerate in good quantity, like, there's a lot, there's a lot of nuance to it that I particularly appreciate. Yes, you should get this game, Meatball. It's a good game. It's very, very nice. And honestly, to be perfectly honest, it's the only visual novel that I've spent this much time playing. It's been, it's been like, really, really nice. Enjoyment is great. Yeah, yeah. A little libation every once in a while. Not a problem. But I shan't dwell more on the topic. It's time for everybody to get their well-deserved rest, including myself. I'm going to see if there's anybody up right now. Anybody, 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 who is, there is nobody. I don't see anybody raiding right now. Meatball! I need your suggestion. I don't have anybody to raid right now. Who should I raid? I gotta raid somebody. I should. And in the meantime of that, in, in case you're new, in case you just come to stick around, my name is Cameron. I spell it with an X. No, not in the birth certificate. It's the stage name. C-A-M-E-R-O-X-N. That's my name. Cameron. Um, if you like what you saw, follow. If you didn't like what you saw, drop me a DM on Twitter. Honestly. Tell me how bad I did. I honestly, I appreciate the feedback no matter what. Um, Rena seems to be live right now. People are getting an octo pimp for the last ones. I do not know. I do not know. I don't think I've actually subbed to them. I have to sub to them. So I can get the raid notifications. Let's see. Meatball, I'm taking your advice on this one. So just just drop the name and we'll do it. Drop the name and we'll do it. But yeah, I, I like to come back every once in a while. I, I love... I like making cocktails. It's a hobby of mine. I like to do technological things. But I haven't figured out how to stream that yet. I like to draw sometimes. I like to play video games. And uh, otherwise just have a good time. I use streaming as a way to just kind of make time to just relax in between school work and work work and life work and all that and uh all that that goes into it anyway i think we're gonna go pal bro fella they are doing art wonderful i am totally in support of that so we're gonna raid them raid pal bro fella i'm gonna do that I hope you enjoy the art. Stick around for it if you'd like to. I am a full support of the arts, and eventually I'll do some more art myself. Thanks so much, everybody, for sticking around. It's been a blast. I'll see you on the other side. Join the party if you haven't done so already. That means follow, but you don't have to. Anyway, let's give pal bro fella. Pal bro fella. Bro fella pal. Some love. Let's do it. Peace out, everybody. And so I will end this stream here. Raid successful. We are in. Hype train has continued. Love y'all. Have a great night.